Hello, my name is Bill. In this video I'll continue with my shelf tour. So this time it's non-fiction. So it's books from the top shelf there. Ones that were hiding behind these classics that I've had in recent videos. They're still piled here until I finish these other ones which were lurking behind them. So I'll get back to science fiction and classics soon. As you can see over here the a whole shelf of science SF Masterworks coming up soon. Simply Complexity, a clear guide to complexity theory by Neil Johnson. So if you search for Neil Johnson on YouTube, include the word complexity in your search so that you find the, r the right guy. So, in an earlier video I mentioned that the, fu the future is going to get strange sooner rather than later and that science fiction and and futurism are good ways to prepare yourself. Also help if you read a little bit about complexity. And thinking in systems by Donella H. Meadows. So this book I think was already old when they published it from older material. So it has this systems aspect of it, but not so much of the complex systems. But and there's complexity, a guided tour by Melanie Mitchell. So of these three books on complexity that I have here, this is probably the best one to read as an introduction to the topic. I don't know if there's any more modern books that would be good, but the basics covered in this book probably haven't changed that much since this book was written. So this one's 2009. So um, Mel Melanie Mitchell's more recent book is about AI, so if you want one or videos on complexity, search for Melanie Mitchell with the word complexity or search for the Complexity Explorer which is a series of videos she did for an online course with the Santa Fe Institute. Or, or if you don't 
want to get into the theory so much look for applications so modern books on evolutionary theory or or ecology should have some ideas about complexity theory in them economics is also a complex system but I don't think most economists have have a scientific way of thinking so it'll be a little harder to find an economics book that approaches economics from a complex systems point of view so read this book and skip the others Beyond Human, Living with Robots and Cyborgs by Gregory Benford and Elizabeth Mar Marletier. So, when I read this several years ago, it seemed a little light, so a little disappointing nothing really new so what have only been appropriate for nobody or for somebody who's never read anything on this topic before so if you want if you're interested in this topic find something more recent this one's 2007 Radical Abundance How a Revolution in Nanotechnology Will Change Civilization by K. Eric Drexler So Drexler popularized the ideas of nanotechnology it's pro probably in the 90s or maybe it was 80s when his first book came out called Engines of Creation but you're better off reading this one it's instead of that one at, at this time this book 2013 but it's probably still a very good read and how to create a mind the Secrets of Human Thought Revealed by Ray Kurzweil So uh, It's pro probably not the book to read if you're interested in the human mind I think he writes this from the point of view of He's planning on merging with machines at some point so he can live forever. But he was the director of Google Research for a while, but he's the inventor of the Kurzweil synthesizer. So if you're into electronic music you've probably seen his name on the 
backs of all these keyboards that everybody's playing. So this book is from 2012. So that's basically about the time when Google popularized the idea of using neural nets for uh, machine learning and started the modern revolution in AI that is making headlines nowadays. So uh, here it says he's the author of The Singularity is Near, that uh, that book is still worth reading. It's much thicker than this and much older than this, but uh, you're better off searching for him on, on YouTube instead of buying The Singularity is Near. He's working on a new book called The Singularity is Nearer. So if you can wait a couple years, then that's the book to get. Mathematical Tourist by Ivers Peterson. So this is not like the mathematics you learned at school, it's more the kind of stuff you want to go through if you want to play with computer graphics. Do, do algorithm, algorithmically generated art. at school frighten you. Read a book like this, which was it's more what they should have been teaching you in high school. De Denial by Agit. Barkey and Danny Brower. Self-deception, false beliefs, and the origin of the human mind. I think I got that right, what's hidden behind the sticker. Self-deception, false beliefs, and the origin of the human mind. Two thousand thirteen. Maybe I should read this book. Not sure how I got it. Somebody must have given it to me for a present. Turing's Cathedral by George Dyson. The origins of the digital universe. So this is 2012. I haven't read this one yet. I read a book called The Starship and the Canoe. So it's about Freeman Dyson, his father, designing a, a nuclear-powered 
rocket. So, uh, using nuclear bombs to propel your rocket. And the canoe part of it was because George Dyson was living on the coast and building canoes. Or maybe it was one big canoe. It's about 20 years ago I read that book. So. Programming the Universe, a quantum computer scientist takes on the cosmos by Seth Lloyd. So uh, this book he applies information theory to understand the universe. So the programming language for the universe is quantum mechanics which the universe uses to program itself. So, this book was 2006. So I don't, I don't know if there's a better book on this topic, but it's probably still a very good read. And here it shows evolution from an information point of view. So you start with the Big Bang and then you get life and then you get sexual reproduction and you get the human mind. And then languages, and then writing, and mathematics. And the book is probably the printing press that symbolized there. And then modern computers. Decoding the Universe by Charles Sheaf. So I haven't read this one yet, but I think it's basically the same topic as that one. This one is 2006. It says how the new the new science of information is explaining everything in the cosmos from our brains to black holes. The universe from nothing. Why there is something rather than nothing by Lawrence M. Krauss. So, Lawrence Krauss visited the university where I was working. So I went to his lecture in the afternoon that was for physicists, which was basically the topic of this book, but but for a physicist, so a lot of what he said was a little over my head. And then in the evening he gave a public talk, which was basically skepticism and atheism for beginners. Alan Turing, An Enigma of Intelligence, by Andrew Hodges. So 
What was the date on this Lawrence Krauss book? 2012. That actually, that must have been around the time that I heard his lectures because 2012 was when I retired, so I wasn't around there listening to visitors anymore. An Enigma of Intelligence. This is a much older book. 1983. So I probably had this since the 80s. And here's a couple of history books. Fourteen ninety one New Revelations of the Americas Before Columbus by Charles C. Mann. Copyright two thousand and five. Fourteen ninety three Discovering the New World Columbus created Charles C. Mann This one's two thousand eleven. So the playlist today. Sound of Cosmic Post Rock. So that's all for this video. See you in the next one.